What's up guys? This is Mustafa and today's lesson is about the present simple. To express an action that's happening now, we don't use the present simple. So today's lesson is about the present simple. We use the present simple with habits and changing situations and general truths. So to make a verb in the present simple, with with I, you, we, they, the verb doesn't change. But with he, she, it, we add an S at the end of the verb. So I, you, we, they, the verb stays the same. He, it, she, the verb plus an S. So for example, the verb is to take. With these, I take, you take, we take, they take. But he takes, it takes, she takes. So, to describe a habit, for example, I smoke, he smokes. To, to talk about unchanging situation, I work in London, he works in London, she works in London, they work in London. London is a large city. This is a general truth. Everyone knows this, that London is a big city. So, London is a large city. This is general truth. And the verb here is to be. So, this verb is irregular. We can't use this rule with this verb. It's, it, is, it is irregular. It's an auxiliary verb. So, we use the present simple also talk to give instructions or directions if someone asks you about where the post office is you can tell him or tell her you walk for 20 200 meters then you turn left so we use the present simple so the the, the first verb is to walk and the second verb is to turn. To express fixed arrangements in the present or the future, for example, appointments. So, your exam starts at 9 a.m. The verb here is to start. To express future time after some conjunctions, like after, when, before, as soon as, until, etc. So, he will give it he will give it to you when you come next Saturday. So this action will happen in the future. But as we use this in English, when we use this, we don't use the future, we use the present simple. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's quite simple. And thank you for tuning in and to the next lesson. Goodbye.